Hello everyone, welcome to the Right Review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the Pelican M205 demonstrator. Also, um, it's, it's known as demonstrator because it's a clear fountain pen. So I'll be talking about parts of the pen and, and then I'll just do a quick sample of the ink. So right at the top of the cap we've got the Pelican logo. Then you've got silver trim. Got the clip on the cap here, so it's a very strong clip, but it will um, it will fit securely in a shirt pocket. And then on the cap base of the cap, you've got a single silver ring going around. Cap and screws. You've got the barrel section here, which is relatively straight, and then you've got the piston turning knob there. So you can see that I've already got it filled with um, ink. So this is Mont Blanc Mystery Black. And then looking at the nib, it's a, a relatively small nib, but it's um, you know, big enough that, that it's suitable for the size of this pen. You've got the Pelican logo on the nib just there, and then this is a broad nib. So with this pen, I actually had to replace the, the nib. Um, when I first bought it, within a week it actually fell down, and, and the way it landed, it bent the nib. So... Um, the, the actual um, pen did unscrew um, somehow from my shirt pocket and, and then fell out. So I managed to get a replacement nib because it's steel, it's um, relatively inexpensive. And the beauty with Pelican fountain pens is that the nib and the section both um, unscrew as a single unit. So you can actually unscrew it from there just by turning it and um, just get a replacement nib. So what I'll do is I'll show you a quick writing sample. It's very smooth, and the reason being is because um, this nib was in factory um, condition, very smooth as it is anyway. But I then decided I wanted it actually glassy smooth, so I got 12,000 grit a micro mesh and then smoothed it down very slowly. And it moved to the point where actually um, it lays down a lot of ink, so this is a, quite a wet writer, as you can just see there. So it does sometimes it does cause me problems when um, I use um, paper that's not um, very thick, and so you do get some bleed through happening as well. But overall, you know, I'm I'm impressed with this pen. It's a very very smooth writing pen. Inexpensive as well, not too expensive, it's about £105 um, UK selling price. You, you may be able to pick it up cheaper depending on whether there's an offer available or not. And, um, you know, if I if I lose this, and I'm not going to um, be upset by it or anything. So, um, and you, you get a lot for your money with this um, pen as well. And also, if you are thinking of uh, moving up from the very cheap... Um, pens that you can get from um, stationery stores that will cost only a couple of quid or so um, this is a, probably one of the best um, pens that you can get that doesn't have a gold nib but um, in terms of quality um, this is well up there the the other good thing with the the um, 205 um, or the M200 series with Pelican is that it is the same um, specification as the M400. The only difference being is that the M400 series um, pens come with a gold nib and my understanding is, is that you can actually replace this nib with an M400 series um, 18 karat gold nib or, or maybe 14 karat. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link up on, on the description there. Alright so this is the end of this review. Hope you liked it and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.